Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, hello. Let's check. Good evening, Mayrita. How are you, Mayra? I'm fine. Fine, <laughs> so so in the middle. <laughs> All right, Mayrita. Pero ya se ve mejor de su molita. Yeah. Siempre me duele, pero ya un poco menos. Yeah, you need to uh, rest a lot. Necesita descansar bastante. All right. Let's check Cecilia Rodriguez. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good to hear that. Me alegra escuchar mucho eso. Right. Let's go with Raquel Santos. Hello, Raquel. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Good. Excellent. Very good to hear that too. What about Kimberly? Hello, Kimberly. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. And you? Great. Thank you so much for asking. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. Guys, welcome back. Let's check. Broccoli is good for you. We need to finish section four on this week. Esta semana terminamos la sección cuatro, right? La verdad es que después del contenido que tenemos en esta PPT, ya solo nos quedaría una lección y if we got the time, avanzaríamos con la section five. If not, no mistakes, porque todavía tienen la próxima semana para avanzar en la section five. Right? Creo que um, para el otro tienen que terminar ya la section five, I think so. Right? I'm not sure. No estoy segura. On my search. Bueno, ya voy a ver la calendarización. Everybody. So let's get started, everyone. Class Good 11. Evening, teacher. Good evening. Emma, how are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent. Ahí la vi corriendo, Emma. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Let me check. Who told me? Good evening. ¿Quién me dijo? Good evening. Cecilia Romero. Yes. Excellent. How are you, Cecilia? Fine, fine. Okay. Thank you. Very good to hear that. All right, everyone. What are nouns, my friends? ¿Qué son los nouns? Let's see if we remember. Um, A person, place. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, continue. Está bien. Excellent action. Tell me. Uh, uh, the thing, uh, cualquier cosa, anything. All right, excellent. That's correct, my friends. Sí, está correcto. Todo lo que dijo, right? Excellent. Very good. It could be a person, a place, or a thing, right? Or everything that you see, all right? That it could be a noun. Excellent, you guys. Do not forget this information. Keep it on your mind forever and ever, right? Esto les va a ayudar a reconocer cuando son nouns, cuando tienen un subject pronoun por ahí. All right, yes, there's a difference entre ambos. Excellent. Let's check. What do we have for today's class? Let's see. Cecilia Rodriguez, you ask. Usted va a preguntar. And Emma, you answer. Usted contesta. Okay. okay. Do we need any X? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. That's correct. Excellent. So, in yesterday's class, we were talking that we can have some omissions, right? En la clase de ayer decíamos que podemos tener unas, um, hacer omisión en algunas nouns. For example, instead of saying, yes, let's get some eggs, I could easily say, yes, let's get some, right? En vez de decir, eh, sí, let's get some eggs, traigamos algunos huevos, all right? O consigamos algunos huevos, puedo decir, sí, consigamos algunos. That's it, right? Uh, eso se le llama omission en el noun. No lo dice, nada más es, all right? It's not that complicated. Ahora vamos a practicar haciendo la omission, all right? Claro está, si ustedes no quieren hacer la omission, no hay ningún problema. Si quieren volver a decir el noun, como acabamos de ver, eso está perfect, 
All right. And let's go with Raquel Santos. Raquel, you ask, usted pregunta. And Marvin, you answer, usted contesta. Action. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. No. no, we don't need any. We don't need any bread? Yes, let's get some. No, we don't need any. Mm -hmm. That's correct, my friends. Thank you. Let's go with Kimberly. Kimberly, you ask. And let me check if we have another boy. Yes. And Amilcar, you answer. Usted contesta, Amilcar. Action, give it. No, we need any eggs. Yeah, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. No, we need any bread. Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. That's correct. Excellent. Very good job. Now you see, guys, you are getting more fluency. Ya estamos teniendo eh, mejor producción en las palabras. Very good. Let's get with Cecilia Romero. Tell me the count nouns. Me dice los nouns que se pueden contar y los non-count nouns, please. Okay. Count nouns. A, X, X. A sandwich. Sandwich. Non, no, 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 con nouns, bread, lemonade. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good job, thank you. Let's go with Mayrene. Tell me the count nouns and the non count nouns. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. <laughs> thank you. Um, Oh, so now come. Uh, ah, ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Eggs. Sandwich. Sandwiches. La pronunciación correcta son los sandwich. no, sandwiches. Sandwiches. Uh -huh. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Uh, sandwiches. <clears throat> mm, breaks. The lemonade. Mm -hmm, exactly, that's correct. Very good job. Thank you. Let me go with. Les estoy poniendo que me digan estos countdowns porque yo sé que la S nos puede costar un poco al pronunciarla, right? Entonces quiero que se empujen a ustedes mismos para lograr. Let's go with Juan Jose Pineda. Juan, tell me the countdowns and non countdowns. Good evening. Good evening. Come now. In X. X. Uh, sandwich. Uh, sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Now come now. Bread. Lemonade. That's correct. Excellent. Then we have a specific and general. Beatriz Campos. Tell me a specific and general, please. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. <laughs> Specific. I'm eating an X. Let's again some some break. Some bread, pardon. Excuse me. General. Uh, X are good you for you. Bread is good for you. Excellent. That's correct. Very good. Let's Thank have you. Kenya Sanchez. Good evening, Kenya. Good evening. <clears throat> Excellent. Tell and me the specific and general information, please. Okay. A specific. I am eight and ill. Let go. Let have some bread. General. A are good for you. Bread is good for you. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with. Yesenia Vasquez. Hello, Yesenia. Welcome. 
Let's check if we have it. Your microphone, just in. Suficiente, sí. N -A. All right, tell me a specific and general. Uh, your mic, se le apagó el micrófono. Okay, uh, I am, I am. I am eating a net. Let's get some bread. Let's get some bread. Mm -hmm. uh, general, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Excellent, Yesenia. Me gustó mucho que pronuncias a ese de eggs. Very good. All right, you guys. Let's check this one. I'm eating an egg. ¿Qué tiempo? Si estuviera en el level in beginners one, ¿Saben qué tiempo gramatical es ese? I'm eating an egg. ¿Qué tiempo gramatical es ese? Present en continuous. Uh -huh. Exactly. ¿Y cómo sabemos, Emma, qué es el present continuous? The verb finishing en ing. ing, ajá, uh -huh. exactly. ING. But what else? ¿Qué más? Ajá. Uh -huh. Verb to be. Verb to be, exactly. The key for you guys to recognize present progressive, you have two different keys. Tienen dos claves ahí, right? Una es el verb to be, que, man, eh, que por obligación mandatory tiene que ser para hacerse un present progressive. Y el ing, pero donde no tiene que ocurrir la confusión es que recuerden que en el simple present tenemos también gerundios, right? Podemos hacer uso de los gerundios. Y también tienen ing. Entonces, para que ustedes no se confundan, recuerden que su principal key o your main key o su clave principal puede ser que no tiene el verb to be. Ah, entonces es un gerund. Tiene el verb to be. Ah, present progress. All right. Solo quería destacar eso para que no nos eh, fuéramos a confundir. So, let's get started with the follow. Practice time. Good evening, Alexis Hurtado. Tell me the instructions, please. Uh, okay, Miss. Uh, one, work individually. Two, credit at least two sentences you seen, count and not count notes. Three, share your sentences with that class. Uh -huh. We don't have any X. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you, Alexis. This is an example, everyone. Este es un ejemplo, right? Thank you, Alexis. Ah, es un ejemplo que estaba poniéndoles el grupo anterior, right? Entonces ustedes también ahí pueden aprovechar del example. Ah, uh, we don't have any eggs. Miren, tienen que utilizar el any for questions or negative answers or statements in negative. Any se puede utilizar para preguntas, oraciones en negativo, o answers. Um, Yeah, questions, right? O respuestas a las preguntas. We use some, el some lo pueden utilizar para questions and affirmative answers and affirmative sentences. All right? So let's work on that. Ustedes deciden, si quieren hacer la pregunta, pues obviamente tienen que hacer la respuesta. Y si no, pueden hacer solamente sentences. Como dice la instrucción, two sentences. Teacher, perdón, una pregunta. Eh, las dos oraciones que se van a hacer es relacionado con cualquier tipo de alimento o lo que uno quiera. Yes, exactly. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Solo que pueden utilizar el third person singular. For example, en vez de utilizar el we, yo puedo decir Alicia doesn't have any eggs. All right. Alicia is third person singular. 
uh, Mario doesn't have any eggs or doesn't have um, some milk, right? You can use it. Doesn't have milk, any milk, all right? Podemos utilizar la third person, first person, you decide. Sean creatives, seamos creativos, all right? No como la teacher said, que utilizó el we, all right? You can use different subject pronouns. Awesome. Excellent, very good. Two finished at the same round. Let's wait um two more minutes and we are going to start sharing. Demosles Emma y creo que la otra fue. Let me check. I don't know if it was Jesenia or Emma Irene. All right. Um no, teacher. ¿quién es yo? Ah, Kimberly. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Does it matter? Does minutes, right? Yeah, teacher. Ah, yeah. Okay. Mayra, too. Okay, let's wait. I'm you guys. Emma, Kimberly. Finish, teacher. Very good, Mayra. Cecilia Romero. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, let me know. Um, can I say is no count a statement? Repeat again. Can I say? Can I say no count a statement? Yes, non-count yes. statement. Um, actually, count. Mm -hmm. 
Emma, it's non count a uh, nouns. No count, no count now. Ajá, exactly. Porque son los nouns los que eh, pueden ser no contados. Right. In a sentence. In a sentence, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Or in a statement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, everybody, let's get started. I want to listen to those um, sentences or statements. Let's go with Emma. You are number one. Kimberly, number two. Action. Example with no count now in a sentence. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I have <laughs> nice. unlike or unlike to drink or an no. Yes. Unlike to drink, unlike to drink some orange juice. Um, Maria doesn't have any vegetables. Mm -hmm. Excellent too. Count now in a sentence. I have some apples in my refrigerator. refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I have some apples yeah. in my refrigerator. Excellent. Very good. Do you have another one, Emma? Tiene otra? No. No. <laughs> Excellent, mm. very good job, Emma. No mistakes. Siguió la estructura y eso la guió y logró hacerla. Excellent, bravo. Y cuando les digo structure, pues en realidad no les he dado ninguna estructura en específico, right? Sino que ya sabemos cómo utilizar el simple present. Solamente le vamos a agregar el any y el sum a la estructura que ya conocemos normal del simple present. Very good. Let's go with Kimberly. Examples and Mariana doesn't need any grapes and I'm drinking orange juice juice and I'm eating eating cereal and milk. Very good, excellent. You use a progressive, very good. Thank you, Kimberly. And and number two, Kimberly, no se le olvide ponerle some juice, all right? Un poco de jugo, all right? Some juice. Let's get started. Porque estamos utilizando el some y el any, ¿verdad? No porque sí puede ponerlo solo juice. Let's go with Mayra. You are number three. Cecilia Romero, you are number four. Action, Mayra. I want some great. She doesn't want any pasta. They right. have some apples. Very good, Mayra, excellent. Bravo, no mistakes. Let's go with Cecilia Romero. Okay. Let me correct if I'm wrong, Yes. Uh, I need some tomatoes. I don't need any carrot, zanahoria, carrot, carrot. carrot. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ese fue guame. Tú, eh, Rafael, doesn't need any chicken. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Very good, I'm impressed, excellent. Creí que eso puede acostar un poquito más, you guys, pero hasta ahorita todas las han dicho perfectas, those sentences. All right, no complaints. Very good. Let's go with, do I have another volunteer? Tengo otro voluntario. Oh, ya están viendo el partido, ya había partido, right? <laughs> I don't know, let's check. Uh, let's go with my, ah, with Cecilia Rodriguez, I'm sorry. Cecilia Rodríguez, Mayrene, okay? Action. Okay, gracias. Uh, do you have any dogs? There are some punky on the table. He does need some, some orange. 
and there are some letters for you. Very good, Cecilia, excellent. And I also, you add new vocabulary. Cambio un poco el vocabulary al hacer la pregunta, excellent. Very good. Let's go with my name. Action. Jose have some banana. Julio don't have any candy. I like eating some fish. He doesn't have any potatoes. Very good, yay, excellent. Very okay. good. Um, let's go with, do I have another volunteers? Tengo otros voluntarios? Aha, uh -huh, Marvin, excellent, tell me. Uh, my mom, my mom needs some cream, but she doesn't need any cheese. Uh, I don't need any tomato, tomato. Tomatoes, very good. I don't need any tomatoes. No necesito ningún tomate. All right, excellent. Very good, Marvin. Uh, let's check. Mm, let's go with. René Portillo, tell me your sentences, René. <clears throat> René, your, your audio is not working yet. Todavía no le funciona el audio. Porque sí veo que tiene el micrófono encendido, pero no se le escucha. No. Tal vez no le dio la opción de tener el audio cuando entró a la clase. Right? Sometimes happen. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, let's go with somebody else. Let's go with Néstor Amilcar. After Néstor Amilcar, eh, Juan José Pineda. Néstor. Where are you, Nestor? Let's Hi. check. Okay, very good, Nestor. Tell me your sentence. Dígame su oración. Uh, I need to buy some apples. Mm -hmm. Very good. I need to buy some apples. What else? ¿Qué otra? Do, you, do you have any pictures of your family? Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Juan José Pineda. Hello. Hello. Uh, Pedro don't have any re record. Uh, Carmen do have any vegetable. And I do buy some beans. All right, let's check. Uh, Pedro was the first one, right? Uh, no. Pedro no, no tiene algún, uh, records. Uh, uh -huh. All right. Records. Sí, sí está correcto su sentence. Solo que yo creo que le escuché don't y es doesn't. Ah, sí, sorry, doesn't. Doesn't, uh -huh, exactly. And I think it also number two. También in number two, right? Sí. Exactly. Dos. Very good one. Those are the only things. Everything else is perfect. Sí. Let's go with Raquel Santos. Ajá, Raquelita, tell me. I have some time to do my homework. I'm taking some time to answer the sentence. Susan doesn't have any pet and she gets any money to travel. All right, very good. Good sentences, Raquel. Extra vocabulary, good sentences. Let's go with Kenya Sanchez. Let's check, Kenya. Ahorita, ahorita. Eh, Margot don't have any potato. Corríjame si me equivoco porque necesitaba ver la gráfica anterior y no la vi para hacer la, la, la ¿cómo se dice? Como la formulación. Yes, pero está correcta. Solo que cree, ¿qué cree que le pasó a mi hija? El auxiliary. Sí, ese creo que me faltó. 
Porque usted le puso don't, pero como ella es tercera persona, ¿qué le pondría? Does. Does it. Uh -huh. That's the only thing. Lo demás está perfecto, right? Okay. Do you have another one? ¿Tiene otra? Sí, ya, ya, entonces sería Jason does have any milk and cookie. Eh, does or doesn't? ¿No tiene o tiene? No tiene. Ah, doesn't. No, tiene, tiene, tiene. Tiene, tiene. tiene. Does <ríe> sí, have sí, sí. some milk. Puede poner some milk. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. All right. Es que any es ninguna. All right. Entonces no podemos decir... Eh, Jason tiene ninguna leche. All right. Sí, sí, ok. okay. Very good, Kenya. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go with Alexis Surtado. Ajá, Alexis, let's check. Uh, eh, she packed son to K. Eh, she buys. Si she buy some pupusas, they aren't any apples. Right, she buys some pupusas. Recuerde ponerle esa S, right? Porque es third okay. person. Mm -hmm. Third Very person, good. sí, yes. Thank Very you. good, Alexis, excellent. Let me check. Mm, Yesenia Vasquez, please, tell me your sentence. Okay. Um, Michael doesn't have orange. Uh, we don't have any fish. Rebecca does does have any strawberries. Very good, Yesenia. Excellent. Solo en la primera, Yesenia, eh, como estamos haciendo uso del any, el thumb, puede ponerle any oranges. Uh -huh. Ajá, 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 sí, me faltó, es cierto. Have any orange. Ajá. Oranges. Gracias. Very good, you guys. Excellent. You guys, you don't have any confusion. Me alegra saber que no hay ninguna confusión hasta ahorita con el any y el some, right? Some es para algunos o un poco, right? Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, I want some lemonade. Quiero un poco de limonada, right? Or I want some oranges. O quiero unas naranjas. Um, Algunas naranjas, perdón. Any, definitely, any, it's for negative. Definitivamente, the any es para negativo, right? Y para questions, right? Any puede significar ninguna negative y puede significar algunos in questions, right? Do you have any oranges? Tienes algunas naranjas por ahí, all right? Do you have any oranges? No, I don't have any oranges, all right? There you have it, excellent. Uh, do you have any questions, guys? Antes de pasar a esta conversation, ¿tienen alguna duda o consulta de lo anterior? Ah, Florcita, usted no pasó, Flor. <laughs> Let's check. Ahorita sí gusta. <laughs> okay, tell me, please. I need some oranges. I don't need any bread. Excellent. Right. Uh, Richard do not have any orange. They do not have any tomato. All right. Uh, the pit, the last one, uh, una antes de la, de la final, dígamela. Que mencionó el nombre de una chica, creo, o una persona. Richard do ah, not, Richard. Don't, don't have any orange. orange. Okay. Uh, sería doesn't. Does. Mm -hmm. Richard doesn't have any oranges. Richard doesn't have any oranges. Mm -hmm. Bravo. Excellent. All right, you guys, let's wake up. Todavía nos falta media hora, everyone. All right? Let's drink coffee. <laughs> café. Let's see. Fish for breakfast. It's a conversation. No me gusta, everyone. I don't like fish. No me gusta el pescado, right? <laughs> Así que no me gusta la conversation. Let's see. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. 
fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. All right. Que buena amiga es. <laughs> All right. Let's get everybody into the business. Um, some vocabulary maybe, como green tea. Green tea is este verde, all right? So, ¿tienen alguna consulta en la pronunciation antes de pasarlos a ustedes? ¿Ya quieren que yo vuelva a repetir? Sí, yo tengo una pregunta. Esa que dice, es como que va una palabra unida, como, dice, como que dice Japanese. Es, Japanese style. ¿cómo? Es como de un solo la palabra. Yes. ¿Podría repetirlo, por favor? Claro que sí. Japanese style. Ah, ok. Gracias. Very good. Estilo japonés, right? Pues la chica creo que es japonesa. Kumiko. Bueno, su, su nombre lo dice, right? She's Japanese. All right. Uh, any other word? Otra palabra que sientan que les puede costar? Interesting. No, se nos olvide. Interesting, everybody. All right? No quiero escuchar ahí un interesting, 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 all right? Let's get started, everyone. Let's check. Let's go with Lourdes Nerio. You are Sara. Emma, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for, for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new tea. Wow, excellent, you <laughs> girls. Me gusta que inclusive la orden, you were like, yes, excited, emocionada, right? Tengo que probar el pescado in breakfast. All right, you guys, excellent. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Lourdes. Let's go with Mayra. If you can, Mayra, si puede, you are going to be Sara. Usted va a ser Sara. And Yesenia Vázquez, you are Kumiko. Action. <laughs> Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come, my, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style. Breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's very interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I really have breakfast, but I like to try new things. Bravo, girls, excellent. Perfect combination of words. No tengo ningún mistake, ninguna correction, all right? Lo hicieron? Neat. You nailed it. Let's go with, ah, let me check. Voy a tener que bajar por aquí para ver quiénes no han participado yet. Cecilia Rodriguez, you are Sara. Marvin, you are comical. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have the salad too. And we always have a green tea. Well, I never eat, eat fish for breakfast, but I like it to try new things. 
Bravo, excellent. Good fluency, good rhythm, good pronunciation. Let's go with another pair, you guys. <laughs> and actually, Marvin, you even sound like you were happy to invite her, right? And they just like, como que va de emocionado de compartir el pescado. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, let's go with Kimberly Elena. You are Sara. Alexis Hurtado, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has to Japanese still breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and a soup. Fish for breakfast? That's, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always here drink tea. Well, I never mm. eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent, very good job. Thank you guys. No complaints, no mistakes. No queja, no hay ningún error, right? Let's go with Kenya Sanchez. You are Sara. Juan Jose Pineda, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have brace fat together on Sunday. Okay, come on to my house. My family always has Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That interest. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never ate fish for breakup, but I like to drink new thing. All right, excellent, very good job. Kenya, repeat after me, breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, thank you. Thank you. Let, let's go with Alexis Balmore. You are Kumiko and Raquel Santos. You are Sara. Breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. for breakfast that's interesting sometimes we have a salad too and we always have green tea well i never eat for breakfast but i like to try new things excellent thank you you guys very good alexis and raquel excellent Let's go with Jasmine and Beatriz Campos. Okay, Jasmine, you are Sara, Beatriz, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have breakfast. Okay, come to my house. My family always has Japanese style. Breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and so. Fish for breakfast, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to drink new. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, girls. Jasmine, repeat after me. Try. 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 Excellent. Very good job. 
Now, I'm missing one pair. Solo una pareja más, right? Y nos movemos rapidito. Cecilia Romero, you are Sara. Néstor Amilcar, you are Kumiko. Action. Okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to me, my house. My family always has Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and sup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have salad too. Um, we always have green tea. Word. I never eat fish for breakfast, but, but I like to try new things. Excellent. Thank you, you guys. Bravo. Nailed it, everyone. I don't have any complaints nor any mistakes or advices, right? No tengo ningún consejo, no quejas, ni errores que yo haya encontrado en las conversations, right? Estamos perfect. Let's go with what do you have for breakfast, my friends? <laughs> Espero que no comamos pupusas todos los días, right? Que si no nos vamos a enfermar. <laughs> Let's see. The U.S. They have eggs, bacon, bacon es tocino, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly, right? Pueden que coman eh, jamón o jalea, right? En realidad ellos tienen un pan que es como... <clears throat> Un sándwich como típico de ellos, que es el peanut butter and jelly. Es el sándwich de mantequilla de maní con jalea, right? Eso es como uf, lo mejor, all right, para ellos. Es como un desayuno normal para ellos. Then we have Japan. They have fish, rice, soup, pickles. Pickles son pepinillos, eh, pues en rodajas, no, all right? Eh, los ponen como en curtido. And green tea, de verdad. Mexico, they have eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, sweet bread is pan dulce, right? Coffee with milk, eh, coffee with milk. Mm -mm, that's not correct. Let's go with, um, let me check. Mayrene, Mayrene, tell me the vocabulary or the breakfast in the US, please. Tell me the vocabulary or the breakfast, que me diga el vocabulario o el desayuno, the United States. Ah, it's okay. Eggs, bacon, uh, toast, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Toast. Toast. Toast, uh, toast with butter. Butter? Butter. Orange juice, uh, coffee, yam. Jelly. Jam or jelly? Jam or jelly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What is the meaning of? Jam is jamón y jelly o jelly is jalea. Ah, it's okay. And jalea yeah. de fresas or de fresno, right? They eat a lot of that. Um, let's go with Japan. What's the breakfast in Japan? Flor de Maria. What is the desayuno in Japan? Fish, right? So, pick, pick plus. Uh -huh. Green tea, tea. Green tea. Green, green tea. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. And Marvin, what's the breakfast in Mexico? ¿Cómo desayunan en Mexico? Um, in eggs, beans, tortillas, French fruit. Swing bread, coffee with milk. I like Excellent. it. <laughs> you like coffee with milk. No, you no puedo tomar café con leche. Right, sorry, café oscuro. <laughs> um, de golpe al hígado. <laughs> All right, let's go with um, tortillas, right? No olvidemos la pronunciation de, de nosotros decimos tortillas in Spanish, they say tortillas. Let's get to the business. Emma, tell me the breakfast in the United States again, please. Okay. In the United States, 
They have for mm -hmm. breakfast eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's correct. Uh, Japan, Alexis Hurtado, what do they eat in Japan? Oh, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea. Excellent, that's correct. And in Mexico, Raquel Santos, what do they eat in Mexico? They eat eggs, beans, tortilla, French fruit, sweet bread, and coffee with milk. That's correct. Excellent. All right, you guys. Do not, do not forget this um, vocabulary. No nos olvidemos de ese vocabulary porque ya lo van a utilizar. Let's check practice time. Hoy está bien, um, bien facilita la practice time, right? Ni siquiera es de que tengan que escribir tanto. Let's see. Yo solo les voy a preguntar, what do you have for breakfast? ¿Qué desayunan ustedes? <laughs> y ustedes pueden responder. I have two pupusas with chocolate, or I have, in este caso, one boiled egg, huevito duro, un huevo duro, with butter, con mantequilla, and bread. Y pancito. All right? Um, you can combine the vocabulary. Pueden combinar el vocabulary. All right? Y lo que quiero es que empiecen a transmitir sin necesidad de escribirlo, right? Porque, pues, ya saben que se puede decir I have. También pueden decir I eat. All right, let's go. Let me check and let's start with. Okay. Very good. Somebody say, okay. <laughs> Excellent, Cecilia Romero. So what do you have for breakfast, Cecilia? I usually have breakfast, milk and cereal. Really? <laughs> Yes. ¿Y cuánto tiempo le dura eso en el estómago? Like one hour. Uh, three hours. Three hours. Wow. <laughs> That's magic. Excellent. Very good, Cecilia. Bravo. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Cecilia, so you don't drink coffee. O sea, que usted no, no toma café en la mañana. <laughs> The coffee uh, at 10, 10 o'clock. Ah, 10 o'clock. Ah, <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Pan dulce? <laughs> Ah, antes también. Right, Very good, Cecilia. Let's okay. go with Mayra. Mayra, what do you have for breakfast? I like to have eggs, beans, uh -huh. cream, mm -hmm. and coffee breakfast. All right, excellent. Very good. Ahí, fast, ahí faltó el quesito, right? The cheese. <laughs> Excellent, Mayra, very good. Alexis Balmore, my friend, what do you have for breakfast? ¿Qué es el uno usted? Your microphone. I have, I have uh, eight. Prince, mm -hmm. uh, cheese, uh -huh. bread, and bread. Um, I I drink uh, coffee, tea, uh, orange juice. Uh, juice. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's a healthy breakfast. Que desayuno más saludable, Alex. Very good. Kimberly, what do you have for breakfast, Kimberly? I eat a sandwich or um, tortillas with cheese. Uh -huh. And I drink coffee. Coffee, excellent. Very good, very good. Jesenia, my friend, what do you have for breakfast? Cuente. I have a drink coffee. Uh -huh. uh, first, <laughs> uh, I have, um, I eat eggs, eggs and cheese. Mm, very good job. Excellent. Yes, Yesenia. 
Very good. And the last one, Juan Jose Pineda, what do you have for breakfast? I have uh, egg. Sorry, it's my turn. It's my turn. Yes, yes, your turn. Sorry. I have egg, bean, uh, cheese, uh, a coffee cup, in sweet uh, bread, and the pan dulce. Yeah, sweet, sweet bread. bread. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, solo eso. Excellent. <laughs> Very good, very good. And you guys, you know, ya escuchando que desayunamos todos, everyone, nos sobreviviríamos mucho en Italy, en Italia, right? They eat only cookies for breakfast. O sea, ellos comen una galletita así, como dos o tres, y ya con café y se van, porque para ellos la comida más importante es la cena, que comen con sus familiares, right? Y pues... I couldn't handle it, all right? Realmente, no sé cómo lo soportan, everyone. But we can try it. All right, everyone. The purpose of this is to use adverbs of frequency. If you notice, the conversation had uh, some adverbs of frequency. Um, les voy a poner estos que ya tienen aquí la frecuencia, right? Cada cuánto. Y los voy a ir diciendo y después se los voy a preguntar. 100% always. 80% usually, 70% often, you can say often or often, right? 50% sometimes, 25% hardly ever, 0% never. O sea que el never literal es el 0%, right? Entonces tenemos que saber bien cuándo vamos a utilizar always o never. Y no nos vamos a guiar siempre solo por esos dos, porque pues el usually también nos puede funcionar, o el hardly ever. And now, let's go with Emma. Tell me the vocabulary, please. And if you can, Emma, si usted gusta y puede, me dice los percentage. 100% always, 80% usually, 70% often, 50% sometimes, 25% hardly ever, 0% never. That's correct, my friend. Thank you. Marvin, tell me the vocabulary, please. Okay. 100% uh, always. 80% usually, 70% often, 50% sometimes, 25% hardly ever, zero never. Very good job, excellent. Now, um, let me know when you're finished copying this information. Me confirman cuando finalicen de copiar eso, right? cuando terminen de copiar eso. Así muevo a los guiding examples. Finish. Excellent, very good. All right, everyone. Finish. Les voy a mostrar los guiding examples. Mañana vamos a trabajar con esto, right? Porque ya solo eso nos hace falta y la última lección. Do you ever have pasta for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. El único... Um, adverb, que vamos a hacer una omisión ahí, o que tenemos una excepción, es en el sometimes. Podemos comenzar las respuestas con el sometimes, right? Es el único. De ahí no puedo decir eh, never do I, right? No podemos decir eso. Entonces, solo el sometimes. Y este es el example que yo tenía para ustedes. All right, everyone. That's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to see you. Have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow.
Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye, Bye. teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.